What's good? What's good? Uh, I go by Honest, A H N I S T. Uh, uh, it's pretty much rapper, songwriter. Uh, been doing the pretty much like give or take ten years now in the game, just going off, in and out, performing and all that. Originally OG, uh, Orlando, Florida, born and raised. Uh, spent growing up, teen years, all that, uh, and then was blessed with a chance, uh, thanks to like family over on the west side, to move out right out of high school to here, and now just been in the thick of it in the LA scene and a little bit of travel here and there. Uh, but, but just centered most point eight one eight San Fernando Valley represent Reseda boys was good. Uh, the biggest thing was the two biggest thing was um, growing up. My brother was like a major influence on like New York style hip hop. There was a lot of like Mob Deep growing up. A lot of Nas being played in like in his car, and then as well as like the in the area surrounding Orlando, Central Florida, was like a lot of like Southern influences. There was like Outkast being played. There was damn franchise boys like that mix of the South blowing up. And um, I feel like that all that kind of mixed in of like this influence of like casual little Wayne style swagger with like a sense of lyricism, a sense of playing around with words and, and that type of uh, chemistry of it just kind of all lingered in together. How the scene fits, how the scene kind of meshes. Uh, it's it's interesting given like the melting pot of L.A. and the Valley all, all together where uh, it's everyone has pockets. There's like somewhat of a clicks, but also it can just vary so much where uh, rappers here will be hanging out with like bands here or like EDM or even different genres or entertainment industries whatever they all clash and they all kind of take a piece of each part and so uh, I think over the time I've been here like seeing the scenes there's it's funny the levels of it where it's like you can tell kind of entry level certain pay to play aspects to a uh, community level where it's like, okay, these these groups are really holding it down in this specific niche. And then a little bit I've seen poking up of like the kind of upper echelon, that uh, Illuminati levels of like our entertainment or mainstream. And it's funny, the, it's an elevator though, all up and down. You can end up in one scene, come to another scene the next day, be in the middle scene by the end of the weekend and it all just kind of circles back, it's full circle. So overall though, underground scene here, it's uh, tight knit as tight knit or as open as you want it to be. So like that. Uh, I'd say, man, uh, it feels like the purpose for the moment, the moments change. There's different purposes. It's almost like a labyrinth. You come back to the same spot, but you you end up with a new f new start. So I feel like maybe when I started, that purpose was to like kind of be experimental, lyrical, as crazy as possible on like Earl Sweatshirt tip. Uh, and then it's gone through phases of like, trying to be loud, explosive, like definitely Denzel Curry influence. And so um, the purpose changes, and I think the current one for me now is uh, just trying to touch at like the, uh, like softer tone, softer bass. I'd say like a Drake influence, if you will, like uh, like sort of centering on certain emotions. Um, and so I, I think the overall purpose though is like leaving a, a mark, a like personal mark, and then a mark amongst the community and people I know in the community to help them push forward younger generation older generation uh th so that's where i'm at right now like the purpose continually changes but is constant the origin goes uh meshes around uh there was early myspace day stuff there was stuff with no mix mastering audacity if you know uh but th as far as the name goes it was like a play on words to the, the word honest and some older uh was it some older ideas of names and then um there was uh i always want to shout out this one producer anu a h n n u where he was like super experimental, still is, and had different names. So there was that level two of like trying to have that sort of uniqueness and also just trying to hit like the, the one word name shit like Madonna, or Drake. Um, and so that's like that basic origin story, but it, it's growing, it's continued to grow uh, and just trying to leave a mark with that and, and stay on it and represent the 407 to the 818. Last thing, oh, shout out all the groups I've met, uh, people I've met out here. Um, and to like this thing with the Gooch House, I'm probably the most excited I've ever been to be a part of like some y event effort like this. Uh, that's the main thing. So it's a, it's a long living Gooch House from London to L.A. to beyond. World, world.